As that massive oil spill in the Gulf approaches wetlands, anger is mounting. And this weekend, top government officials are meeting with Louisiana residents. But as Joel Brown reports for WJZ, there may be signs that that oil spill is finally slowing. Concerns along the Gulf Coast rise with every clump of crude oil washing ashore. The beaches on Grand Isle remain closed, and residents here posted some not-so-subtle messages for BP. It's devastating. We come here every weekend. We fish all weekend. We, my kids and I like to crab on the beach, and it's, it's heartbreaking. Frustration compounded with more discouraging news from BP that the mile-long tube siphoning oil from the blown-out well is sucking far less oil than before. Cleanup crews here on Elmer's Island have been working to clean up the crew since it started washing ashore here on Tuesday. They're counting on these booms to keep the oil from going back out to sea. But until BP finally plugs that well, there's nothing to keep the oil from invading this wildlife preserve. The next big effort to stop the spew could come as early as Tuesday. Engineers plan to shoot mud, then cement into the hole that lies a mile below the surface. The technique has been tried only on land, adding to the mounting frustration toward BP and the Obama administration. In terms of uh, not trusting BP, I mean, there's nobody, nobody who is more devastated by what has happened and nobody that wants to shut this off more than we do. But U.S. Interior Secretary Ken Salazar publicly questioned BP's determination, citing missed deadlines and a catastrophe nowhere near being solved. I am angry and I am frustrated that BP has been unable to stop this well from leaking and to stop the pollution from spreading. Salazar promised to push BP out of the way if the oil giant can't find a solution soon. On Grand Isle, Louisiana, Joel Brown, WJZ Eyewitness News. And today, the White House says that Justice Department officials have been in that Gulf region gathering information about the spill, but they are not saying whether there is a criminal investigation.